Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show. If you didn't see Mr. Grumpy at the Crocker's meetup and you haven't already watched his videos, the name Grumpy Grandpa will make you think you're going to see something like... Or maybe, hey, Mr. Wilson. But really, Grumpy Grandpa is all about this. I can't swim. I'll be. <laughs> Grumpy In fact, old Grumpy started his channel to show young knuckleheads how to make it in this world. Then he looked at his analytics and realized more old farts than knuckleheads tuned in to him, so he kind of tweaked his channel just a bit. For instance, Grumpy Grandpa is a big advocate of researching things for yourself instead of just taking everything you hear as fact. And, you know, steering clear of the thought processes that don't work out so good in the end. Now, when you see the technique for bachelor chili dogs, do not look it up online because that might lead you astray. Just, just don't do it. No, 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 no. You see, Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show and a title like Flaky Biscuits, it's supposed to be completely different, right? But he's helping guys with important tips like plastic makes the salt taste better. <laughs> but yeah, the secret to Flaky Biscuits appears to be making sure the pop can says Flaky. And he's full of golden nuggets just like that. I mean, eat your heart out, Gordon Ramsay. If you learn one thing with Grumpy Grandpa, it's how to feed yourself the easy way and still eat healthy. Oh yeah, the bachelor pot pie? That's another one not to Google. <laughs> Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show makes sure you know all the ins and outs of online etiquette, like his video on vague booking. And to make sure old Grumpy uses his etiquette, meet Debbie, fondly known as Mrs. Grumpy. Now, Debbie has her own channel called Two Old People on a Couch, and it covers prepping topics and interesting spins on breaking news. Debbie sometimes joins Mr. Grumpy as a special guest, and she always holds his feet to the fire. Like when Mr. Grumpy decided to call her and get an interview from a remote location... And then Mr. Grumpy leaves his studio miles away to grab a drink for a second. Yeah. <laughs> See that look? That was a hilarious video. She was like, uh, you know, you just walked behind me, right? <laughs> Those guys are too much. They are too much. Now, Mrs. Grumpy isn't the only special guest on the Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show. He's actually waiting for you to have a seat on the couch next. Hartley Homestead, Michigan. Kevin and his tractors are building up his homestead from acres of timber, and he's taking all of us along for the ride. Honestly, I think he just likes playing in the snow. And boy, is he creative. The man can build just about anything. He made an elevator so that he could single-handedly put the roof together. Wait, 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 wait. What was that thing? No. No, not Homer. Maybe he's really just some despicable villain using little yellow aliens to build up his homestead. Mystery solved. So anyway, we'll just pretend it's the tractor. He does love those tractors. Hartley Homestead, Michigan also does unboxings and product reviews. I think I've watched him unbox a quarter of his homestead equipment. Guess the minions can't build everything, right? And then there are the critters. His critters are well cared for and they all look happy. Kevin and the rooster are probably the only guys. It's paradise over there. So hop on over and check it out. See what I did there? Vix Miniatures. So you all know how scale model building is like planet fitness for your brain? Hobbyists who dabble in miniatures can see and learn and appreciate more with less. The scale model world embraces focus and control, and the miniatures world takes that even further by encouraging a greater scrutiny and deeper participation. They're basically super geniuses over there. Okay, maybe not. 
Vic's motto is there's only one thing that gets more fun as it gets bigger. <laughs> Vic, that's a terrible motto. Vic's Miniatures is chock full of enticing and confusing titles like using oils to paint flesh. That's not a body painting tutorial, at least, you know, not the way you think. He's got an insane organizational system and an entire section dedicated to just paint. Because apparently the pieces get smaller, but you have to use more paint to create detail. And the detail matters because you have to use historically accurate coloring. Vix Miniatures also shares like tons of history with us, all the way down to like the uniform nuances and the painting styles. So between folklore and history, I think Vix Miniatures has it covered. And then he throws in larger scale models just to throw us off. You never know what Vix Miniatures is going to put on the workbench next. Teaching knuckleheads and fist-bumping old farts. Homesteading up north in the cold. And big things in tiny... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Last Sunday, there was a contest for a drawing for a $25 Amazon gift card open to the U.S. and Australia. Official rules were in the description, and there were 15 in the drawing. My internet it was a bit slow, but I spun the wheel, and yay! If you see your channel's homepage here, you won. Don't call me, I'll call you. Thanks for watching!